Tottenham Hotspur have signed a new centre-back, a much-needed centre-back for Spurs this market. Mickey van der Ven, 50 million euros, which is probably about 43 million pounds from Wolfsburg. And that is including add-ons. I see a lot of people saying 50 million is a joke. People saying that this is this is bad from Tottenham. He's not that good. 50 million is a joke. I don't think it's a joke at all. I think this is a good signing for Tottenham. I'm not going to act like I know a lot about the player, but you've got to look at the market, the inflation market. Guardiola's what, 90 million euros. Uh, Southampton, what, 50 million pounds, which is 10 million more for Lavi after one decent season in the Premier League. And Mickey van der Ven, 22 years of age, absolutely rapid. And the last time Wolfsburg sold a player for 50 million euros or more, it was Kevin De Bruyne. And trust me, Wolfsburg had a lot of good young players. I think this is a good signing for Spurs because they need a left foot centre back. This could mean they could go back into playing a back four, which can allow Ange to play his system. I think that he would be partnered well with Romero. I think he's incredibly quick. I think he's good on the board. I think he's a technical centre back. And I think the way that Tottenham might want to play in, a, in years to come, now it's going to take them a couple of seasons to rebuild. I think this is a good signing for Tottenham. I also think, you know, it's a sign that probably Kane is, is on the way out, that the fact they're spending big on the centre back. But there's no doubt in my mind that Tottenham Hotspur needed a centre back badly. And he's 22 years of age. He's one of the best young centre the backs um and the research i've done on him has been very positive so what's it by for bridge reminder today that mickey van Ven's top hotspur here we go verbal agreement in place 50 million euro package add-ons included dutch center back to travel in the next 24 hours to medical contract agreed etc now a lot of people saying 50 million euros this is a joke and saying that this is rubbish from tottenham but actually it's 50 million euros including add-ons which is 43 million pounds so you'll probably find that chelsea probably spent around not Chelsea, Tottenham probably spent around 38 million up front, which is what Chelsea spent for Axel de Sassi. And I think Mickey van der Ven has potential to be a better player than Axel de Sassi. He's four years younger. He was incredibly good. But Wolfsburg, and I think he'll be that good left-footed centre-back, left-sided centre-back, sorry, that um, Spurs need to play alongside Romero. I think Romero, I think uh, van der Ven, I think that Spurs have got a good young defence and they're clearly building for the future. And I think that's what they need to do, you know, replace Kane with young, hungry players, build a team, um, you know, Tottenham fans will hate me for saying this, but Arsenal, you know, they finished eighth, they had awful seasons, and Arteta kind of built, brought in the Odegaards, the Ramsdales, the Ben Whites, not the big names, not the names that everyone thought was good business, but they ended up being good business because they were young, hungry players. And, you know, Arsenal paid 50 million for Ben White after one good season in the Premier League. I, I don't think this deal is a joke. I don't think this deal is as bad as, as some people are trying to make out. And look, he's not the finished product. Let's be honest, like he's going to be a little bit rusty. I still think Spurs' defence will be rusty next season, but he's being brought off potential, like Liverpool signing Lavia off potential, like you know, signing Rasmus Hoyland off potential. But he is a good player. He can play left centre-back. He's absolutely rapid. I've read that he runs 60 metres in less than seven seconds as well. Absolutely rapid defender. No doubt he'll improve Tottenham's defence. Um, he has the capability to cover left-back if something happens, you know, um, if Tottenham need help with left back, um, he's, he's known for having a good mentality and he's who the manager wanted and Tottenham in the backing the manager is really important. The Wolfsburg head of development actually said uh, a few words on this player about his mentality, his quick rise, how good he is. And the Wolfsburg head of development said he's such a winner, a fighter. He doesn't want to lose. Never. He will give everything. That's what the Wolfsburg head of development said. He said off the pitch, he's growing as well. He was young when he when he was with us. But he also needs to develop his personality off the pitch. And that's what you need when you play in the Premier League is what the personality. And a little bit of st statistic here on, uh, on uh, Mickey van der Ven was that he won the ball in the he won possession in the defensive third more times than any other player um, in the Bundesliga under the age of 23. He won possession 123 times in the final defensive third. So he's one of the most young, exciting prospects to come out of the Bundesliga. We hear a lot about Guardiola. But um, he is, uh, he's reportedly meant to be a great young player. And look, I'm not an expert on the player, but Wolfsburg have had some young players and they sold De Bruyne for a little bit and everyone thought De Bruyne was overpriced. So you never know. We've got a few statistics on him up on the screen here. Um, a little bit of his statistics here as well, as you can see. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. No, that's the goalkeeper one. Sorry, I thought I bought the defence. I found this. I've shared the wrong things. I've, I've got I've got some statistics up for him, but I've, I've shared the wrong one on my screen there, which is a little bit annoying. But I did find some good statistics for him, but I'll try and find that in a second. But him and Romero is a good centre-back partnership. Um, obviously, Spurs have got um, lots of good young players coming through. Romero's 25, Van der Ven's 22. I mean, what Emerson Royale, I know they don't really rate him. He's 24. Spence is, is 22. I know people don't rate him. They've got Phillips that's, that's 18. Porro that's 23. They've got they've got young players. They've got a young defence. They're building for the future. And I think the, the most important thing about the signing is he's got the characteristics which Ange needs for a left centre back in the system. Um, and, you know, I think Tottenham's recruitment hasn't been great in the past years, but this was definitely something that's driven by data 
what the player has, what the manager wants as well. I believe he is six foot four, left footed, very, very quick. Um, people will complain about the price, but the market is just inflated. It's, it's not a bad price. You've actually got to look at it and go, it's probably only £38 million plus £5 million in add-ons when you really think about it. And, you know, I think that's a good, it's a young centre-back, it's a hungry centre-back, one for the future. They're building a partnership for the future. Spurs know that next season is probably going to be difficult for them, but they're building for the future. And, you know, I haven't seen a lot of him, but I don't think it's a bad signing at all. Um, and I do know he's absolutely rapid. I do know that Spurs desperately need a centre-back. And I, don't, I think people are writing off Spurs a little bit next season. It'll be interesting to see how they do. I think there's definitely a lot that needs to be done. But Madison, I think, is a great signing. I think this will be a good signing. I think they needed a goalkeeper. Replacing Kane could be difficult. There's a lot of work to be done at Spurs, but I think centre-back was one of the priorities. So smash a like, smash a subscribe. Thank you for watching today's video. Just my reaction to Spurs signing the centre-back, giving my thoughts. Again, not a Spurs fan. Don't know loads about the player, but just what I get my thoughts and report the news. Bye.